On some occasions, Namatovu prepares the day's menu at this low-budget restaurant in Hoima town. This is her story of how she escaped from the wretched life of prostitution, which often exposes many women to the risk of HIV and AIDS. She reveals the journey of change started three years ago. Those people of Amkalo came to me. They told me, how is the situation here? I was like, no, I can't talk to you. Guys, because you don't know what we are going through. Amical is an acronym for the Alliance of Mayors and Municipal Leaders on HIV AIDS in Africa. They were persistent. They were like, Nebo, can, can, we can help you. With her colleagues, Namatovo refused to budge. My girls were like, no, they are just disturbing you. She continued to indulge in the trade amidst hardships. It is stressing. It is death sometimes. Someone can come, he buys you, he doesn't even pay you, hmm? he ends up beating you up. If you are not steady enough, you end up even getting AIDS. Some men force you and you have to accept it because you have nothing to do. She reveals that often girls did not use condoms and had little information about the dangers of HIV AIDS. However, a year later, the voice of reason prevailed. We went through different procedures and behavior change. How from a sex worker to a businesswoman. Ah, yeah, this is my own business, which I'm called Plus my group, the ladies of good hope. Yeah. They and don't ladies of good hope. Yeah, they don't even come forward. They just want to push us, grow more, mm -hmm. so that we can pull even others. The mayors are not medical people, but they, they, they are in command of what happens in all their municipalities. Titus James Tracy Gay, the country director, Amical says they focus lightly on those who are under the category of most at-risk populations. You know in the statistics, about 33% among female sex workers. So we target groups that have higher uh, risks of infection. The, the female sex workers, the long-distance truck drivers, the border-border border riders, since they are mainly resident in urban areas. If the local leaders come up with that idea and they don't just push people behind, they don't just put dot, push those girls behind. The world will change. In a report released by this organization early this year, Amical set targets to match the ambitious UN eight zero HIV new infections. So we went out and mobilized communities. We mobilized service providers. And for one week of intense mobilization, we, are, we accelerated service delivery and uptake. In barely a week, a lot of success was registered. Out of about 80 districts, we have got reports from 50 districts, 60 urban councils. In one week, we managed to reach 45,000 people with a number of services, uh, safe male circumcision, condom distribution, HIV testing and counseling, because of the engagement of leaders. Tresge says if this is implemented across urban areas, through agents of change like Namatovo, it will positively impact on the fight against HIV and AIDS. Namatovo is so committed, she juggles her business and acts as an exponent of change. Whenever she's meeting prostitutes, she carries condoms, which she distributes for their safety. And they just ask you, maybe, what have you come to do here? You've not bought us condoms. Why? Huh? How are we going to survive? Bit Bisangwa, the executive director of HIV program in the office of the First Lady, says leadership is what Unity Museveni has always preached as a method of reducing mother-child HIV transmission as well as controlling new infections in adults. At local level, we work with the, the district leadership and kind of just encourage them to be more vigilant. And then we deal with the cultural and religious leaders because it's, it's also a gap we found. And yet there are the people with the people. According to Janet Kataham, Seveno is part of the Organization of African First Ladies Against HIV and AIDS, OAFLA. This is an affordable method which was used in the past to defeat the scourge. I was shocked when our people chose to listen to condoms as the only way to fight HIV and AIDS. Because remember, when we made a reduction initially, we had no other hope except that human discipline and ensuring that Young people will abstain from premarital sex until they are married, and married couples will stick to one another faithfully. Tasting, however, remains a challenge in the country, especially amongst men. The trend actually is that there is a, a slight reduction in the number of new infections, the number of people testing positive. 
but the reality is that we are still having many people who are testing positive. According to the Uganda AIDS Commission, about 380 people daily are infected with HIV, a number the mayors want to significantly scale down. Florence Salimba, NTV.